Hi there, Turkey Hunters. I'm Scott McGuigan for Ontario Out of Doors, and today I'm going to talk to you about improving your strutter decoy's effectiveness. Now, we all know that ultra-realistic decoys are effective, but they're also expensive. So, a cost-effective way to improve the effectiveness of your strutter decoy is to add real wings, and I'm going to teach you a trick about how to do that right now. So here we have a pair of turkey wings. You'll see that I've already attached the string but when you're going to clean the bird, this is the joint that you're going to want to detach the wing at. And then what you want to do is you want to clean the inside. There's flesh here. You want to clean that off. And as best you can, maintain um, these, these tertiary feathers right up here. It'll just look a little bit nicer on your decoy. Now when you go to dry the turkey wings, you're going to want to tie them to a, a beam or something and let them hang down. The reason you're doing that is you want that, that, that wing to cover as much of the decoy as possible so you want it to, to flay out. And what I do then is I tie, tie a string to the uppermost knuckle and I let the weight of these secondary feathers and, and this area here pull, pull that wing down and it'll dry in that fanned out position. Now here you see my decoy, by no means a poor looking decoy. It's got the real tail, it's a flock decoy, but to me it does, it just doesn't look quite real enough. And here's the decoy with the wings attached. Looks a lot better in my opinion. It adds a lot of realism in, by hiding that body. And it also adds shape to the decoy. And you can see I've just attached a string between the two wings and let them hang down on their own. 